Hi everyone, Simple Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to New Me Wednesday. And as you guys may know, this is a small series that I have here in my channel where I come in and I chit chat with you guys, share my week, my thoughts, what's going on. And I also leave the platform completely open. So if you want to share your success, your victories, your non skills, please do because I think it's super important. So this is week eight for me on Weight Watchers. And I'll talk a little bit about my sugar addiction and how that is going. I have definitely been working with it. Um, I have definitely shifted how I view sugary stuff. I have actually switched from it being my comfort zone, my comfort food, to something negative that is going to harm me. And with me, I'm someone who is visual and I will either put you on a positive column or a negative column or I don't want none to do with you. And believe it or not, the sugars at one point was definitely on a positive column because I was addicted. I used it as comfort. Um, now as I am transforming and becoming a new me, I am definitely shifting over the power that the sweet that I give the sweets or the carbohydrates um, and I have putting it in the negative column not in the I don't want nothing to do with you column because I still need it you know and I am a woman and chocolate will somewhat always be a part of my life but it will never be the way it was before um, so it's definitely in the negative column for me I think twice before I put something sugary in my mouth um and i'll last week i came across that white chocolate kit kat which i have been dying to taste and it is 12 points um and i said you know what i have to try it because i've been dying to try it i ate it and after i ate it i felt horrible i knew that i was gonna get that spike and i knew it was gonna drop me and just the feeling alone that I knew that sugar was going to do to me, I gave myself an anxiety attack over it. Never again. It's just not worth it. Um, and it did. It picked me up and it dropped me off because that's what the sugar does to me. And, you know, it's not something nice to my body. So I got over that. I see what sugar does to my body. And when I feed myself facts, then I'm able to push forward. You know, before, like I said, I used to pray sugar. You know, it was my method to go to. I stopped smoking and that to me was fulfilling the, you know, the urge of me not smoking. So I have switched it. Now, instead of having sweets, I exercise. Um, I have found great workouts that you're able to do at your desk at lunchtime. And, you know, to kind of like get yourself going and out of that funk. And it's really been helping for me. Now, another thing too, I know that after dinner um, or after lunch or breakfast, I always wanted something sweet. And then what I do now is I buy the Wrigley's, the, the peppermint, the really, really sharp peppermint gum. You put that in your mouth, it's going to clear all your taste buds and you're done. Um, I also have tasted um, those chocolates that are called... Uh, I want to say after after dinners I'm gonna do a vlog about those because it's the same concept it has chocolate and then it goes into a real peppermint candy where it kills all your taste buds and the candies um meal enders that's what it's called and the candies are very expensive I only purchased them because I had a coupon um, but I see their concept you have your chocolate and after you have your chocolate fix the mint comes into play but it's a very very strong mint where it kind of kills your taste but you don't want to put nothing in your mouth it's like after eating brushing your teeth and you're like you know that peppermint like ah so that's what i've been doing after i eat immediately i pop a piece of gum in my mouth of mint like pure mint and it definitely kills my taste buds and it definitely helps i know so we have to find what helps <laughs> and what helps me crave my sugars and that definitely does so with that said, I am down 0.6 this week and I'll take it. I have been really, really training my back as far as weight training. I see the difference in my body. And once again, we cannot let the scale define what we're doing. And 
I wish I can get like these losses like everyone's having two pounds three pounds I don't know I follow the program I do what I got to do and I only lose 0.6 but you know what I'm okay with it because I know I'm transforming my body I see it you know if I had that one track mind of looking at the scale and not seeing these huge numbers I would have been discouraged and dropped a long time ago but I take pictures I view the difference you know I go back how I'm feeling you know um, as far as my energy goes so you have to take all that stuff into consideration so yes I'm still in it it is week eight down 0.6 I would not scratch off a pound because you guys know I like to scratch off whole pounds off my charts and it is what it is so with that said thanks everyone for watching I really appreciate all your love and support and it is what it is and for all those who are having all these negative comments that are being left in your channels do not let this discourage you there's a lot of ugly people out there that don't have nothing better else to do you know and even myself I was contemplating whether I should drop my channel leave my channel you know it's a lot of work you know to do what we do to take our time to edit to upload but I was like you know what I spoke to one of my sisters and she said to me Mari stay in it because you know what it's, it's so true I have come so far and the fact that I can look back you know and see my progress and see how far I have come and where I'm going to be it's a beautiful thing so stay in it we've come too far to go back God bless you guys see you soon